Hey, welcome back up North Journal, Mike, Dan, Dan, and Chris. Yesterday, we saw the video where we unveiled the uh, Evolve 28 from PSC. Today, we want to talk about the family of the Evolve. We talked a little bit about the Evolve family and how uh, they've got a bow that fits everybody yep. in that Evolve cam system. But uh, talk a little bit about that progression, and we've actually got quite a few of them here. Yeah, we do. Uh, so we started with the Evolve cam. Again, it comes back to what the consumers are asking us for. We're in dealers all the time. We hear feedback from consumers and dealers saying, here's what we want. So people were wanting a smoother draw feel, a little bit higher let off, or the capability to go to a really high let off. So that's when we came out with the Evolve Cam. It's a quad track binary system. So you've got a super wide range of adjustments of let off and feel and different cam module options just to give the consumer exactly the feel that they want. You can tailor you get, it right to the, you can, you can, your you can, feel. Yeah, so you've got the high let off mod, 80 to 90%. You want a little bit more holding weight, you've got the low let off mod. And then if you're a speed freak like a lot of PSE guys are, they want the fastest thing out there, you got the fast mod. So you've got a wide range of, of products that you can deliver to a consumer with one cam system. A lot of tunability within that family of, yeah. of that and, cam. And you can e even actually take, say, you, you want to get an Evolve 35 and you want to hunt with it in the winter and shoot 3D with it in the spring, in, in summer and spring, put your high let off mod on it when you want to hunt, be able to hold back on a deer that maybe isn't cooperating. You get drawn back and it stops behind a tree. I've been there. And then you want to go shoot 3D in the summers, but you want another 10 feet per second, you right. throw the fast mods on it. You so go. you basically get two bows two bows in one package with one cam system. There you go, and the best part is we got those bows here. Yeah, we do. Uh, we, what do you got, what are we starting with here? Uh, first one up we have is the 35. Uh, this one's actually in target color, but. Yeah, so we, have, we offer this in target colors. Um, we've got uh, platinum, titanium, green, purple, obviously, black, charcoal, cryptic, and uh, mossy oak country. So I guess was saying the other day, this is kind of a, a do-all bow in our lineup. I shot target with this. Um, I shot, I hunted with it, I shot 3D with it. When it first came out, this was the bow I did everything with. Okay. So from indoors to outdoors to 3D to hunting, that was the bow I used. And, that, and that's the 35? Yep, Evolve 35. Okay. So that's, that's Danny, that's the one that you're gonna use on the target range this, this year. This is the one I'm using for target this year. Okay. So then the 31, this was the, the other one we released last year. So these two bows basically started the Evolve revolution. Okay. The, the Resolve to Evolve Tour started with these two bows. So 31, six inch brace height, 346 feet per second at 90%. Just a, a super smooth drawn bow that gets really, really good speed. Yeah, for an old guy like me uh, that has a little bit of shoulders that it has to deal with, you know, getting that high let off, that, it works really nice, but you're not giving up a lot in speed. No, you're not. And, and with the speed that this gets, you don't have to shoot, it's like say you get shoulder issues, you don't have to shoot 60 or 70 pounds anymore. You can hunt with this thing at 50 pounds and still have more than enough kinetic energy to kill anything in North America. Right. So. All right, this is the one that I'm hunting with. So that's the 31. And, and, and to go with what he just said, I've dropped all my bows down to 55 pounds. Have you? Yep. Okay. I'm still hanging around that, that 60 number right now. Um, like I said, there is some shoulder issues and, and it, that may change here soon. You never can tell. Yep. So, right, so what's next on the line? So from, from the first year we had the Evolve, again, taking feedback from consumers, letting them tell us what they want, what they want to buy. We got requests for one, a little cheaper Evolve Cambo. So one of the nice things with PSC is we've got a plethora of price points okay. on whether you want to spend 1700 bucks on a high-end target bow, or you're just getting into it with your kid and you want to spend $199 for a package on a mini burner. Mm -hmm. We have the whole line of price range is covered. So people asked us for a little lower price point bow with an Evolve cam. So with that, we came out with a response. So the response is a 33 inch axle axle, seven inch brace height bow, shoots 335, draw length adjustable from 31 and a half to 26. So again, taking that, taking the feedback we get we came in with a, a 799 Evolve Cambo. Okay. So. Now, and then yesterday we uh, we, got, we debuted the, the new Evolve. Yep. And that one you've got over there, Chris, is the, the 28. But well, before that, we got the other one. Oh, okay, oh, I'm sorry, yep, I jumped. One more. I'm so excited about the 28 that I jumped ahead. There you go. So, <laughs> so that, was, that was one of the ones we got requested was a little lower price point Evolve. And then the other thing we got requests for was a new speedbow. 
We've been the speed king for a long time, the full throttle, 370 feet a second. I shot that bow for a long time, loved it. But with the Evolve Cam technology, we're like, we can make a speed bow out of this Evolve Cam. Mm -hmm. So then we came out with the new Expedite. So same specs as the full throttle, 33 inch axle axle, five and a quarter inch brace height. Um, this ships from the factory with 90% mods on it. So you're gonna get 350 feet a second at 90% wow. for an IBO. But then you've got the other two mod options where you can get up to 360 feet per second. I know we shot this at ATA and this thing is smoking. Yeah, so with the fast mods, it is an aggressive, aggressive, aggressive. mod with a fairly shallow valley. But if you have it set right or you're used to shooting a full throttle, you can hold this thing back a long time too because it's still 75% let off. You just, you have to stay in the back wall. You have to have your draw length set correctly. If you're too long, it may want to creep on you a little bit, but that bow, I put my full throttle away after we came out with this. That's the dragster. Yep. <laughs> All right. So now, now, Mike, now we can come ready? out. I'm ready. I'm ready. Hold me back. <laughs> oh, actually, let me go over, let me go over a couple more before we get to that one. Sorry, uh -huh. you can put that one down again. We also have another um, Evolve Cam bow that's in our line, um, the Beast. So your long draw guys, your 33 inch uh, and down draw length guys, we've got a 38 inch axle axle Evolve Cam bow that'll go out to 33 inches. 33 inch? 33 inch draw length. That, that's quite a long arm. Yeah, so. 30, 38 inches axle axle. Yep. So guys, if you got the long arms, you're tall, <laughs> they've got something for you, okay? Yep, so there's, there's the five bows that have the big Evolve cam on it. Okay. Now we're gonna add one more. Because you listened to what the customers were talking about. Yes, we listened to what the, what the consumers want. So you guys that go into the shops that think that their opinion doesn't matter, it does. We, we listen to what people want because we want to give them a product that they want to go out and buy and enjoy and love. Because mm -hmm. if we're giving them what they don't want to buy, obviously we're not going to be in business. Right. That's right. So the Evolve 28, 28 inch axle axle, seven inch brace height, 335 feet a second, IBO on this. Incredible. So if, uh, if you're short like Danny and I, or you're tall like you guys, you've got something that will fit you. Speed, comfort, doesn't matter. It's it, it, the cam system, it's just so adjustable. It can give you exactly what you want. And we have the platforms through all the Evolve line to give you the exact platform with this cam system that you want. And different price points as well. Different price points. Fit your wallet. Well, yep. Okay. And you know what, you, you can actually go, uh, like you said about the 35, you can go from hunting to target with one bow. Or you can, if you like the Evolve cam system and you like a, a, a longer bow for, for target or go down to a 28 for a, a ground blind setting, short bow, tree stand, out west, backpacking it in. You said it's 4.1 pounds. 4.1 pounds. Yeah, you know, put that on a backpack and up and down mountains you go. Covering the whole, the whole range. Yeah, absolutely. So. And we can't forget about the carbon lineup too. I mean, for those guys that are out west, absolutely, that, that might be seeing this that want that ultra lightweight bow. You do have the carbon lineup as well, which has the evolved cam. The carbon air yep. and the stealth, mm -hmm. and then there's uh, you know, I know the carbon air. There, there's two different sizes in that as well, right? Yeah, there's a carbon, the regular carbon stealth, and we have the carbon L, carbon stealth SE, which will go down to a 24 inch draw length. Okay, so once again, fits fits everyone, everybody. So. And the and the best part about this is uh, they came out with the they came out with the 28. Uh, and it's in your pro shops now. Absolutely. I can't wait to see what's gonna come out next year. Every year, it just seems like something new, better, faster, smoother, the whole nine yeah. years. I, I know that we, we pride ourselves on being an engineering company that builds products that people can go out and enjoy. And being able to work with the engineers and seeing the stuff they do on a regular basis is just, it's mind blowing. It's gotta be fun too, just going out there and, and shooting and, and testing and, and seeing new stuff come out. Um, that's got to be an exciting job. It is. I mean, it's, it's, it's a job. There's parts of it that aren't fun, but that part of it makes the whole experience worth it. Being able to play with bows every day and then go out to the factory and have them take the key and unlock the, the door to the prototype room. Right. And it's kind of cool to see some of the stuff that their minds create and put on a computer screen and then make and say, oh, let's see if this works. Well, right here is their latest creation, the 28. Make sure you get out to your pro shops, your local pro shop, local dealers, and uh, get this in your hands and, and shoot it. You're not gonna be disappointed.